Tomorrow, the man accused of shooting and killing a 16-year-old boy in Midvale last fall is set to go before a judge. Nestor Del Valle is a teenager himself. The shooting is one of multiple shootings and other criminal charges that happen just days apart. For a Midville mother now grieving the death of her son, the knowledge that someone may be held accountable gives her some peace of mind, but it doesn't make moving forward any easier. News specialist Dan Spindle has her story. Photos of a smiling Lynn Robles line the walls of this small Midville apartment. As a single mother, Yolanda told me that she worked hard to make sure her son knew that she expected him to stay out of trouble and be grateful for what he'd been given. I told him, it's just the two of us. It's for your own good because here in the United States, you have opportunity because you were born here. It's a blessing. On a typical night, Len would work at a local Walmart after attending Hillcrest High School, a tough schedule to keep for a 16-year-old. But Yolanda liked that it kept him off the streets. He was very affectionate with me. He'd come home from Walmart at 10 or 11 at night. He'd knock on my bedroom door and come in. I'd be waiting awake for him and he'd give me a kiss. I'd get him some dinner and then he'd lay down and go to bed. But one night last September, Lynn didn't come home. I was restless. I went from my room to the kitchen, back and forth, because he wasn't answering his phone. That day, I was shocked. The truth is that up until this moment, I still can't believe that this happened to my son. What happened, according to police, is that someone pulled up in a car, exchanged words, and shot at least five times, killing Len Robles just blocks away from his home. After months of mystery surrounding her son's death, the only consolation, perhaps, is that the suspect is behind bars. In fact, 18-year-old Nestor Del Valle from West Jordan was already in jail, booked back in October, and charged with killing another teen just five days before Len was gunned down. Detectives claim shell casings found at both crime scenes link them to the suspect. And while Yolanda is finally able to know who will face a judge in her son's killing, the violence surrounding what happened and the hole left in her life have her fearing the worst for others left behind. For me, it's very sad. Right now, I live in fear. My son's friends, they scare me when they head out into the street because I think someone is going to kill them, that someone will do something bad to them. Yolanda hopes others will remember the good in Len as she mourns his loss and prepares to face the teen police say killed him. Reporting from Midvale, I'm Dan Spindle, KSL 5 News. All right, thank you, Dan. Well, Nestor Del Valle is facing a murder charge in the death of Len Robles. That court hearing currently, that court hearing rather, currently scheduled for tomorrow morning. But there's more on the calendar. Next month, he's scheduled to return to face a judge for charges related to the killing of Brian Galicia last fall.